Today we're going to be doing some yoga for teachers. We're going to start with a nice stretch to get our muscles warm. If you teach in a Tai to One school, chances are today your air conditioning was broke. You can skip this part, your muscles are plenty warm. Now twist side to side, let your arms hit yourself. Just keep hitting yourself over and over again. An accounting degree costs the same amount as your teaching degree. Don't forget that. Keep hitting yourself. Tilt your head to the left. And then tilt your head to the right. A child just asked you for makeup work on the last day of school. Are you serious right now? Yeah. Other side. Why do I bother? Now turn your body to the right. Nice full stretch. Looking behind you. Looking behind you. You are at the whiteboard and we're positive that a student was making obscene gestures at you, turning all the way around, trying to catch them, send them to detention. Now put your hands out in front of you, pinch your fingers one at a time, pinch your fingers one at a time, grabbing the air. You're going around collecting homework. None of the students have it to turn in today, not one student grabbing nothing, just repeated disappointment. Now we're gonna get on our knees, we're gonna keep our back straight you're helping a student at their desk, don't bend that back or else your butt crack will show and every student will Snapchat it. Just keep your back nice and straight. Keep that shirt down. Now stand up, but not all the way up. All right, just, just chair position, if you will. Hands like this. You're on hour five of SAT testing. No restroom break and that coffee's knocking at the back door. All right, just hold tight, hold tight, almost there. Feel the stretch, feel the burn. Now you're gonna pull this right leg up to the inside of your thigh. Gonna feel that stretch. I call this pose something smelled funny. When I walked into the classroom, I hope I didn't step in dog crap on my way to school. No, no, that's not it. Luckily it was just a student that didn't shower. Keep stretching. Now turn to the side and you're going to reach up to the sky and you're going to go all the way down. Reach up all the way to the sky and you're going to go all the way down. This position is called projector screen that will never lock. You're going to give up and show it on the whiteboard. For our next pose, you're gonna lunge all the way forward. Nice stretch, hand to the ground, other hand to the sky. You're on three hours of sleep after grading papers all night. You have a professional development after school today. And you just pull the muscle in your back trying to lift textbooks. Reach up to the sky, dear Lord, take me now. Now we're gonna go on the ground. We're gonna put our hands out in front, our face down to the floor. This position is called child pose. They call it child pose because this is the position you take when one of them knocks on your door during your lunch break as you're hiding behind your desk. Concentrate on your breathing. They can sense fear. Now we're gonna put our hands out in front. We're gonna raise our rear into the air and put our head down. This is similar to downward facing dog but I like to call it the DOE bend. You're giving them a place to stick it after they decided the teachers weren't going to get raises again this year. This is gonna be a kind of a hard pose for newer teachers. For veteran teachers, they do this every year. They're very accustomed to it, just right in the air. Yep, there it is. Now come back to center, shake off your day, and open your eyes. Try not to stare directly at the stack of ungraded papers that lie before you. If you see them, Close your eyes again and re-enter a new position I like to call, update your LinkedIn profile and find a new job. Namaste home. Namaste home.